On April 2, 2018, the National Catholic Register, a service of EWTN, which is a global Catholic news network, published this article entitled, Taking Sunday Seriously, Poland Leads the Way. In the article it says, the European nation's new law sharply restricting Sunday shopping provides an opportunity to take a closer look at American habits and Poland's move, which bucks the prevailing trend in secularized countries toward an ever more commercialized Sunday, could provide a constructive example for the United States where the network state of blue laws that once restricted Sunday business activities has been substantially reduced. The only current example in the U.S. of a statewide retail ban is in North Dakota, which prevents many retailers from opening on Sunday morning. So did we not say that Poland is being uplifted before Americans as the example for America to follow? The Polish president is clearly seen on and is being purposely placed on the side of the American Republicans, who of course tend to be more of the religious bunch, by fighting fake news alongside the president of the United States of America. It says that the Polish president ripped fake news reports that his wife snubbed President Trump for a handshake during Trump's visit to Poland on Thursday. And in this, an alliance was slowly being formed that would lead Americans to look at themselves and Poland as in the same boat, fighting the same enemies. This is also why, when Poland voted to phase out Sunday shopping by 2020, it was also declared that they were fighting against communism, something America is also dealing with itself. The article literally stated, communists wanted to annihilate God by annihilating Sabbath, annihilate Christianity by annihilating the day of the Lord. This was part and parcel of the Communist Party ideology. Poles know communism and communist persecution firsthand. They do not want to return to what they have already suffered, restless and irreverent Sundays of the communist past. Keeping holy the Lord's Day is keeping the faith and continuing the tradition. Poland is showing Europe the way, and this begins with keeping the Lord's Day holy and not shopping on Sundays. It's not just Europe, but America, as our earlier article indicated. Which article continues to say, As it turns out, there are documented drawbacks to end blue laws. A 2008 study found that repealing Sunday closing laws led to a decrease in church attendance and tithing, along with a significant rise in alcohol and drug use among the religious population. Supreme Court opinions upholding the constitutionality of Sunday closing laws found that regardless of the religious origin of the laws, they were important in maintaining the health, safety, recreation, and general well-being of the public. I had to literally laugh out loud when I was reading tithing had gone down, as this also confirms the prophecy of 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 3 about these false prophets wherein it says, And through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. Yes, these false prophets, as 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 1 says, are those teachers in which fallen Protestant America are making merchandise of you, worried more about their paychecks instead of worrying about the flock of God. The false prophet of Revelation chapter 19, which works miracles before the people, is the same image of the beast which works miracles before the people in Revelation 13. And it says in Revelation 13, verses 14 and 15, And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause, that as many as would not worship the image of the beast, should be killed. Not the popes of Rome, who instead are the first beast of Revelation chapter 13 and Antichrist, according to the Bible, but the false teachers and leaders of the apostate American churches are the false prophet made into the image of the Roman Catholic Church. If you recall, the first article also pointed out North Dakota for statewide retail bans on Sundays as being the only state in America that does this. Back in March of 2017, I made a video with these very articles as well as others being discussed, and you can check out that link and watch the entire video, and I encourage you to do so. But in short, 
North Dakota's Senate shot down a bill which would repeal the blue laws of the state. The reasoning for the shooting down of the bill were as follows. Man was not made for the Sabbath. Rather, the Sabbath was made for man, Senator Robert E. said. He said the desire for Sunday sales is selfish consumerism. And Senator David Clemens said that instead, that time should be used for worship. Now, I must ask, how is it possible that the verse which is used to reject the Seventh-day Sabbath, declaring the Sabbath was made for man, so he can therefore selfishly labor and refrain from keeping that day holy, is the exact same verse used to promote refraining from labor and a need of rest, family time, and worship on Sunday? That is completely hypocritical. Now this next article, I won't read the entire thing, but just the headline says audio. Fargo businessman says he'll put North Dakota blue laws repeal on the statewide ballot. If you know Bible prophecy, you know that the question of Sunday observance must be agitated among the people. Do the American people want Sunday laws enforced or not? The American Republicans are especially being pushed lately because if you remember, the left side of the aisle will already be easily swooped in with the climate change movement, wherein the Pope, who is the head of the movement, and many others who are in agreement with him, already want Sunday laws, a day of rest, to deal with the climate change problem, the calamities, and the natural disasters going on around the world. There is no getting around this Christian prophecy. Sunday laws are going to happen. No if, ands, or buts about it. With that said, dear viewer, what are you going to do about this? Contrary to what the Supreme Court has ruled, the enforcement of Sunday religious laws is a violation of the First Amendment's Establishment Clause. But it was prophesied that the American Constitution would be repudiated anyways, as we're clearly seeing as well with free speech and the gun crisis also. A Christian government cannot, and absolutely should not, enforce any commandment into law that has to specifically deal with the relationship between God and man. We cannot do so openly, neither by proxy, that is, or by some other way, claiming that there is some secular benefit to have such laws enforced. But as stated earlier, prophecy stated America would form an image to the Roman Catholic beast, and begin to rule over their inhabitants like the Roman Catholic Church reigned during the Dark Ages. A second Dark Ages is on its way, once again in supposedly the name of Christ, which will seek to enforce, and will, the mark of the beast. If I were you, I would get my house in order in the name of Jesus, whilst keeping God's ten holy commandments, including his seventh-day Sabbath, which is from Friday sunset to Saturday sunset, and leave every single church that has these government 501c3s, and yes, that even includes the Seventh-day Adventist Church, or the Ninth Hour Movement, as it is said in Matthew chapter 20, verses 1-7. to Come out of them, reject the Sunday Sabbath, the day of the Roman Catholic beast who literally says, Sunday is our mark of authority. The Church is above the Bible, and this transference of Sabbath observance is proof of that fact. Choose ye this day whom ye will serve, the God of the government or the God of the Bible. Thank you for watching. God bless. Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, The vision that he seeth is for many days to come, and he prophesieth of the times that are far off. Therefore say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, There shall none of my words be prolonged any more. But the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord God.